Alright, now for some super streets. They're the top of the class tonight. We got James Osmond. Uh, clarify for me, James, what you and your son got going on. You guys are like donating your winnings tonight? Tell me about it. Yeah, we've had really good luck in this race in the past, and, and uh, I think we've won it a few times. And we He wants to get the money to someone else, it just, you know, because it's a good paycheck, and when, when we bring it home, it just, I don't know. I've just had really good luck, and we want to spread the luck to someone else, is basically what it is. So, so tell me, how does it work? Who's going to get your money? So everybody's car number is going to be in a bag um, after the race, and they're going to draw a number, and whatever car number pulls out, minus Brett and I, they're going to get both paychecks from however we do. So. Both the, yours and Brett's yep. paychecks combined together goes yep. to one lucky racer. Yep, so if we win, someone's going to get a couple thousand bucks extra. So, I mean, I'm hopefully I, I want the trophy and the barbecue. So I never get the money anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. That's so. right. That's right. I did see that. You're not giving away that barbecue if no. you win it. You'll give away the prize money, but he wants Mingo's barbecue. What do you love best about it? His brisket? I like it all. Everything he cooks is good, and I've got... I work on Greenleaf's car and Morton's car and Andy Cahurl's car and Noah's car. So I've got my dibs in all these kids. If they all win, I'm coming for barbecue. So. All right. Heck yeah. James Osmond. Where's Brett at? How's he feeling? Good. He says his car's real well. He was just ahead of me in both practices. So he's fast. So he's happy with it. Yeah. And uh, what did he get? Third in the late model last week? His first podium? He must he be uh, feeling having a pretty good week. Yeah, we led lap 40, so that would have been cool if it was a 40 lapper, but That's right. in that late caution. Ten, 10 extra yeah. bonus laps. He came to lap 38 expecting C2 to go, and then he realized it was a 50, and Tiger was there. And, <laughs> and the late caution killed us. We had second wrapped up, I think. I think Will could have got to us, but Will's a good racer. He wouldn't have moved us or anything. So, But we got third, and that's our first podium, and I think we'll go from, up from there. So, All right, the, the 05 and the 50. Good luck in the Super Street 100 tonight. Thank you. We got the 85 of Kenny Harrison back here. Kenny, I believe we saw you maybe on opening day or one of those early weeks, but it's been a while, hasn't it? It has. We come down in April and run opening day with this car right here, and uh, Michael chose to go to Oxford this year. So I kind of, you know, as a dad, you know, kind of got to go up with him a little bit. Um, been struggling up there. I raced there once with this car and once with my other car. Um, and I already knew we scratched it down on the paper that was coming here for the 100 lapper. And uh, Ken and Roxy Farley put a good piece under me. They, it's a, that's probably the most well-prepared limited sportsman car I've ever drove in 40 years of racing. So looking for a good run tonight. We don't have a very good spot to start in the heat, but it's a 100 laps tonight, so I'm not really too worried about it. Just stay out a couple. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to make sure I talked to you is we haven't seen you for a while, but also... Uh, you were first in one of the practices. I mean, just unloading off the trailer already fast. I mean, definitely a well-prepared car. Yeah, we came down a couple weeks ago with that rain out, and um, I didn't think I was that good, and we was top of the board then. And I really don't go by that. I go by how the car feels and what I like as a car. Um, and then today we were okay in the first practice. Second, put new tires on it. Off a little bit. We adjusted the tires, and I guess we're at the top of the board. The car feels great. I I have a way that I like the car to feel when it gets when you get in the gas, and you gotta be able to turn, you gotta be able to get off the corners here. Um, and it's doing that right now, so I'm I can't wait to get going. All right. Well, uh, can we see Michael back here racing at all this year? I think he's coming down before the end of the year. He's going and I think that I can talk to him. I think he's coming back next year for the full season. All right, awesome to hear. You guys both run Super Streets, or does he run uh, late model? Or? No, he's got this, actually almost the same car as this right here. It's a Super Street. Um, and I have my Lee Spring car. It's an older car. I ran second with it here last year. Uh, if he runs next year, I'll probably bring that down a couple races and race with him. I love racing with him. Um, we finished. He finished first, and I got third. Um, but they threw him out for something wrong with his car that we didn't know about. So... Uh, that was pretty cool, though, to be in victory lane with him, and I uh, hope I can do it again. That's the only time you guys have done that, being in the victory lane at the same time? That is the only time, yep. Yeah. All right. Kenny, Harrison, good luck tonight, my man. Thank you very much. All Thanks, right, guys. Too. Next up, we got Matty Beers. He dug out the cobweb Super Street car. How's that thing going tonight, Matty? Man, it's a, it's a big difference from last year compared to these pro stocks this year. Uh, with the shock change and everything like that, it, it flowed around pretty good. It's uh, going to be a fun one. Yeah, you really have to wheel it a lot more than a pro stock, you think? Oh, absolutely. You get off in the corner and you put, like, the amount of pro stock steering wheel into it like you would to make the corner, and you realize you got to put another half a turn into it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's different. The brakes are a lot less, too. There's not a lot of brake left. 
It was uh, certainly one of the most uh, prettiest cars out there in the Super Street class last year. We're glad to see it back out on the track for this race this year. You think after this race, you know, depending on how the night goes, that you might race it a few more times this season? Yeah, I mean, if we if we keep it together and stuff like that, it'd be nice to bring it back out and do a little bit more racing with it. I know these guys are halfway through their season, so I wouldn't really want to mess it up too, too bad. But here and there, I could see it possibly coming back out. And then on to the Pro Stock, we got our record car count this season we got 19 pro stocks it's a stacked house and you're doing double duty you think you got enough uh, stamina for it tonight well luckily the pro stock features first um it'll probably give us a little better uh a little better stamina i guess you would say we can get tired in the super street at the end of the night under the lights and be a little bit cooler in there so i think i can do it all right maddie beers you got a driver's meeting to go to so good luck tonight maddie Thank you, sir. So you got one feature win this season, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, two races ago, the night we had double features. Uh, won the first one and then finished fourth in the second one. Car was going pretty good that night. Yeah. And how's she going tonight? You think you got what it takes for a 100 lapper? Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't have the top speed like a lot of these guys have had, and it's not as fast as it has been. But car doesn't really fade a lot, so I'm hoping throughout the race that it'll stay decent and that we don't get caught up in anything, and hopefully it's just a good, clean 100 laps. How'd you do in this race last year? Uh, I made it to lap 57, and uh, my good buddy Speedleaf spun out going into turn three and collected a few of us. So hopefully we can have a better run. We were running really well near the top five, and then that happened right after a caution. So I think we both have decent cars for tonight, and hopefully we can bring them home in one piece. So was last year's 100 lapper your first, like, big extra distance race that you've ever done? Yeah, that was the most laps I've ever done. I did a After that, I did a 50 lapper at Oxford, but other than that, those two are the longest ones I've done. So... Other than that, it's been 30 lap features, so hopefully uh, hopefully I can make it through 100 laps tonight. The uh, Celsius, is that a good energy drink that gives you energy for the night? Oh, I love these things, and they're, they're like pretty much just water, so it doesn't no sugar, it doesn't make you feel like crap. Uh, I think that's the key to making it through 100 laps right there. All right, the double zero going for 100 laps tonight. Good luck, Nick. Thank you. And with that, a good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back home to Wiscasset Speedway as we hustle through the month of August and bring you Group 1 back in action following yet another rain out. These guys have fallen victim to the weather four times this season, so they are chomping at the bit to race today, and it is all headed up by this division right here, the Goslin Insurance Super Streets and the running of the Ward and Sun Construction 100. 19 cars in the paddock for the race today. And this is heat number one. This will set the inside lane. This is a non-handicap open draw race. So this heat one will fill the inside row. Heat two will fill the outside row. Your lineup for this one has former champion James Osmond out of Wiscasset in the 05. To his outside, Sean Johnson in the number 35. We'll tell you about that in a little bit. To row two, Kevin Sherman and Brandon Sprague. On row three, it is Keith Drost and Noah Haggett. Row four in the 72 is Mark Lucas, David Greenleaf in the 58, Bubba Pelton in the 27, and Kenny Harrison in the 85 will fill out heat number one. We are ready to rock and roll. Pace car is heading in. I'm going to turn things over to my partner in crime to call the heat race action, Mr. Nick Huff. Not wasting any time with pace laps. We are going green. Warden Sons Construction, Super Street 100, qualifier number one, down the back chute. And it is James Osmond in the 05, leading them to the stripe for the first lap. Three wide action deep in the field, and they continue through one and two, three wide. Noah Haggett is pushing, cushion way up in the third groove, and he makes it work. He picks off a couple spots with that one. Osman continues to lead. Kevin Sherman breaks free from the pack, and he gives chase to the number 05, trailing by one car length. And Keith Drost is showing some speed for the first time this season. Drost is pulling away from Sean Johnson and reeling in that top two. Sean Johnson piloting the number 35, typically driven by Mike Orr. 
But Sean Johnson is stepping in for the first time this season and we're glad to have him. It's a four car breakaway. And then rounding out the top five is Mark Lucas in the 72. He's racing in defense mode right now as they are double file all over his back bumper. Halfway flags are out. Six laps in, six to go. We gave him an extra two qualifying laps for the special occasion, the Warden Sons Construction Super Street 100. James Osmond clips the curb going into one, and that allows Kevin Sherman to close the gap ever so slightly that time down the back chute, but Osmond continues to lead it now with five to go. Sherman putting the pressure on, up tight on the back bumper of that pro concrete number 05 of James Osmond. Keith Drost minding his own business in third. Quite comfortably with a healthy margin on Sean Johnson and then Mark Lucas rounding out the top five. We got two laps left. Super Street 100. A lap and a half to go for the first qualifier. Coming to the white flag, it's James Osmond. James Osmond is gonna donate his paycheck tonight to some lucky winner that they're gonna draw out of a bucket. So Osmond just going for that barbecue and the honors tonight. He's gonna pick up heat number one. Yeah, that's right. The big prize up for grabs is the Mingo's barbecue and James Osmond wants to feast good this evening. Yeah, buddy, we're going green with qualifier number two for the Warden Sons Construction Super Street 100. And Matty Beers is hanging tight on the high side of Chris Burgess. Down the back stretch, they were pretty even last time around, but Burgess is clear this time on the back stretch. He's gonna leave Brett Osman to duke it out with Matty Beers this time. Matty Beers is not giving up without a fight though. He still has a little bit of his front bumper on the high side of Burgess and this time going into three, he's gonna bring it up nose to nose. Matty Beers finding a second wind. The heat is coming into those tires and Matty Beers is on a rail on the high side. Brett Osman waiting patiently in third. Looks like he's gonna try the high side and follow Beers. Matty Beers has committed to a pro stock this season. He's bringing this Super Street out for the very first time this year and he's looking for qualifier number two. Brett Osmond is gonna make the high side work. He's gonna follow beers around Chris Burgess and take over second. Here comes Nick Morton. Don't count out the double zero. Halfway flags are posted. Six laps complete, six to go. And Osmond is right up tight on the back of the 11, filling in that rear view mirror on Matty Beers. Matty Beers is gonna wash up and give the bottom to Osmond. Wouldn't it be something if both Osmond, father and son, pick up both the qualifiers? Here he goes, looks like he's gonna lead at the stripe this time. Brett Osmond is gonna start leading some laps and he is checking out in a hurry. Already down the back stretch, he's got three or four car lengths on Matty Beers.
Here comes Nick Morton with one feature win this season. His first career Super Street win a few weeks ago. Nick Morton is now reeling in on that second place car of Matty Beers. Brett Osmond looks like he's got this one in the bag if he stays calm. A lap and a half to go and the top three are pulling away, but it's Chris Burgess who's racing in defense mode now. They are stacked up behind the 31. White flag is out. Darren Ripley cracks the top five, but he wants to do one better. Here comes the 09 to the high side of Burgess looking for fourth place. And back to the front, Brett Osmond picks up heat number two. Matty Beers holds on to second, Nick Morton with third, and Darren Ripley out of the final corner takes fourth away from Burgess, who rounds out the top five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to meet our drivers for tonight's Ward and Sun Construction 100. Our track officials setting things up and ready to go. We'll start down at the beginning of the grid, starting in the 19th position. Driving car number 32 out of Edgecombe, welcome Brandon Sprague. In the 18th starting position, driving car number 19 out of Biddeford, welcome Andy Cahurl. To the 17th starting position, driving car number 27 out of Scarborough, welcome Richard Bubba Pelton. Your point leader starts deep in the field tonight in the 16th starting position. Driving car number 33 out of Liberty, welcome Josh St. Clair. Starting in the 15th position, driving car number 58 from Westport, welcome David Greenleaf. Starting on the outside of row seven is a seven-time champion. Driving the car number 03 out of Chelsea, welcome Morris Young. Starting 13th, driving car number 54 from West Cassett, welcome Noah Haggett. To row number six on the outside, starting in the 12th position, is a two-time Super Street champion from Booth Bay. In car number 11, welcome Jason Oaks. Starting inside of row number six, in car number 85 out of Pownell, it's the K1 kid, Kenny Harrison. On row number five on the outside, starting in 10th, driving car number 31, your June driver of the month at Wiscasset Speedway out of Hartford, welcome Chris Burgess. Another multi-time champion starts in the ninth position, driving car number 72 out of Harpswell, welcome Mark Lucas. On row number four on the outside is a veteran driver with a whole handful of 100 lap wins. He's back in the saddle tonight in the number 09 out of Warren, welcome Darren Ripley. Starting in the seventh position, Driving car number 35 out of Oakland, welcome Sean Johnson. To row number three on the outside, starting in sixth. In the double zero out of Woolwich, welcome Nick Morton. Starting to his inside in the fifth position, driving car number 74 from Aetna, welcome Keith Drost. This guy's been running pro stocks this year, but he didn't want to miss out on this one. Starting fourth tonight in the 11B out of Farmingdale, welcome back Matty Beers. To the inside of row two, starting in the third spot, in the 11S, out of Woolwich, welcome Kevin Sherman. And how about this, your last two winners of this race, your last two champions, father and son, race side by side on row number one. First on the outside, starting second is your reigning Super Street champion. In the number 50 from Wiscasset, Brett Osmond. And at the pole position, winner of this race and champion two years ago in the number 05 out of Wiscasset, welcome James Osmond. Folks, that's your starting lineup. Let's get your drivers strapped in and ready to race. Drivers, start your engine! Oh, I love that one. That one was awesome. All right, folks, our drivers are all set. We're going to see if you guys are all set. It's late in the night, end of the show. Let's see what kind of energy you have. Let's wave those hats, wave those hands, set your favorite drivers off with best wishes for safe and successful race. The Ward and Sun Construction 100 is coming up next. Nineteen drivers answering the call tonight. And Wiss Cassett's toughest division.
Now remember, if either the 50 or the 05, whatever they finish, we're going to draw one lucky driver out of the till here, and they're going to take home the prize money won by the 50 and the 05 tonight. So father and son racing for trophies and barbecue. That's what they're doing. Here we go. Green flag is out. Underway. Problem for, looks like, David Greenleaf in the 58. Here we go, back underway. I know the 12th place car in lap three is gonna make some money. We got some really cool and interesting contingency money. Close call mid-pack between Kenny Harrison and the 11 of Jason Oaks. Brett Osmond leading the way over Kevin Sherman. Then comes the 0-5 of James Osmond. Fourth held by Keith Drost at the 74. Couple of cars working up on the high side. Nick Morton in the double zero. And the 09 of Darren Ripley are both out there trying to make up some ground. Morton able to race his way around the 72 of Mark Lucas. Settles it down in line. Morton is up to the seventh position. Early on in this race, guys looking to have the race settle down and come to them, hold on to those tires. We gotta make this work for the full 100. Single file back to the middle of the pack. Kenny Harrison working outside of Mark Lucas now. <coughs> That's a race for the 10th position. First 10 complete. Three cars stretching out their advantage now. Brett Osmond in control of this one early. Osmond, a winner this year in Super Street competition, nearly got his first late model win last time they raced last week. This is a non-point race, so just 20 championship blanket points for all drivers in this race.
That lead trio now half a straightaway ahead of the fourth place car. Keith Drost, good job there in the 74 car holding down fourth. Get a train right behind him in the 35 of Sean Johnson. The 11 of Matty Beers and the double zero of Nick Morton. Then Noah Haggett. There goes David Greenleaf in the 58. Just about to go a lap down, so he heads down pit road. This is why I told you track position is so vital here in the super streets. Difficult to pass. Maddie Beers outside of Nick Morton. That's a side-by-side -side battle for sixth and seventh. Morton's got the preferred lane on the inside. Morton hustling up there in that double zero. He'll pull to the inside and move into the fifth position. Sean Johnson with some handling problems in the 35. Things getting tight around that 35 car as he's caught on the outside and falling back. Brad Osman leading the first 21 laps. Kevin Sherman, only driver really able to keep him in sight within a couple car lengths. And then James Osmond third, full straightaway back to the fourth place car of Keith Drost. Couple of movers include Nick Morton and that 54 Noah Haggett. Haggett started back in 13th and he's racing in six right now. So he's advanced seven positions. Josh St. Clair making up some ground as well. He's running in the 12th position after starting back in 16th. Spin on the back stretch. Let's get these boys back underway. Pace car is in, green flag is out. Brett Osmond back up to the challenge again quickly, disposing of his closest competition. Sherman trying to get in line in front of James Osmond. Kevin Sherman able to do that. Osmond, James Osmond, knowing that would not help anyone's cause, especially behind him if things got tangled up onto the front stretch. Keith Drost is caught on the outside and Noah Haggett may be paying the price in that 54. Haggett, some contact into turn four. Noah has to get out of it. He restarted sixth and has dropped several positions in that 54 car. Kenny Harrison, the next driver to test his luck up on the high side, driving around the outside of Jason Oaks. Harrison now up to 10th. Keith Drost slipped all the way from fourth place on the restart back to ninth. Now Josh St. Clair is inside the top 10. We've got a caution out. Darren Ripley has spun up to the top of turn two.
Kevin Sherman nearly timed that start as he kind of lagged back a little bit. Brett Osmond says, no, thank you, son. I'm going to take the lead back for myself. Sherman back into second. James Osmond still holds third. Now Nick Morton coming into the picture again. That's another young driver that's hasn't has shown he's not afraid to race the outside. Nick Morton working on the outside of Matty Beers. That's a side, oh, contact out of the turn. Morton had to get out of it. Beers reclaims the fourth position. Not sure what happened to Nick on that last lap, but he, he had to jump out of the gas and he's lost a few positions now in the process. It's Osmond, Sherman, Osmond, Beers, and St. Clair in fifth now. Josh has definitely been the big mover of this race. Started in 16th and he's now in fifth, but he's in danger of possibly losing that to Kenny Harrison. Harrison grabs fifth away from St. Clair and Josh still caught on the outside, gonna lose another spot to Noah Haggett. Haggett rebounding nicely after losing several positions on that last restart. Couple cars together up in turn one. Andy Cahurl with a nice save after contact with Sean Johnson. Single file all the way around the speedway right now. But still tight racing back through the middle of the pack. Osmond trying to lead this one wire to wire. James Osmond started at the pole but did not get credit for leading that first lap. Kevin Sherman with one of his best rides there in the 11. James Osmond's been solid in third for much of this race. Matty Beers holds fourth. Kenny Harrison rounding out the top five. Noah Haggett on the outside looking in. Haggett running in sixth. Josh St. Clair has slipped back into seventh. Then comes the 11 of Jason Oaks. He runs in eighth. Bubba Pelton from deep in the field. Pelton runs in the ninth position and Nick Morton in the double zero nearly had fourth he slipped back to tenth now only driver out of this race is David Greenleaf we still have 18 cars on the lead lap Pretty much status quo through this section of the racetrack. Although we got a side-by-side -side battle now between Jason Oaks and Bubba Pelton. Pelton trying to make the outside work on the two-time champ. Bubba was the top winner in this division last year with four feature wins.
This deep in the race to have all the one car still in the lead lap shows how evenly matched this division is. Getting close to check cash in time and for halfway bonus money. Brett Osmond keeping them just far enough away and a lot of tight racing in behind. Kenny Harrison and Noah Haggett starting to pick their way into the picture little by little. Next time by to be halfway, 50 laps down, 50 laps to go. Brett Osmond has led them all to this point. Now Matty Mears got bumped up to the outside in danger of losing spots. Kenny Harrison moves into fourth. Beers on the outside in fifth. Haggett waits behind them in sixth. Some guys starting to get up on the wheel now. More side-by-side -side racing. Oh, there goes Chris Burgess. There will be no winner of the back to the front challenge tonight. Matt Beers looked like he might have been ready to drop back, but he's up on the wheel now and Racing around the outside of James Osmond. Beer says it's go time. He's got third, now working on second. Brett Osmond drifts up out of the groove. Here comes Kevin Sherman on the low side. Second half of the race starting to crank up the intensity. Side by side for the lead out of four. Brett Osmond with problems on the number 50. He's caught on the outside and Beers had to get out of the gas. Matt Beers lost a couple positions. And now Beers looks like he might be starting to throw up some smoke. Brett Osmond off the pace and out of the race. Race takes a major turn as the guy who led the first 53 laps of the race is headed for pit road. Kevin Sherman, a former two-time champion, looking to pick up the biggest win of his career. We've got a long way to go though. Caution flies as cars spinning here on the front stretch. We are off and running once again and James Osman drives around Kevin Sherman and into the lead. James, the former champ and winner of this race two years ago. They'll make it 60 laps complete this time by the line. Up 
Another driver from deep in the field. Into the top five is Bubba Pelton. He started in 17th and he is now into fourth. Bubba Pelton is on the move. Matty Veers, the first car on the outside lane, trying to make it work, but he has slipped back to fifth. Mark Lucas starting to come into the picture in the 72. Lucas trying to race his way into the top five. Matty Beers, that outside lane not working quite as well for him this time. Nick Morton in the double zero, tough break for him. He's heading down pit road. He might be out of gas. He's swerving that car like he might not have any fuel in the pickup, but he's able to just make it through the opening and head down pit road. Tough break for the double zero. Everything out single file now, except now Bubba Pelton jumps up on the high side of Kenny Harrison. Pelton and Harrison, they've raced wheel to wheel for many, many years. Pelton making that outside work, drives around the 85 and into third. One of his best runs of the season. Noah Haggett spins the 54, no movement yet out of that car. That'll bring out another caution as you see the flames under the car. He's trying to get it fired up. Some excess fuel in the exhaust. Trouble for Sean Johnson. Him and Keith Drost get together. Let's get back at it, boys. 30 laps to go. Green flag is back out. James Osmond shakes off the challenge. Going to bring the 85 of Kenny Harrison with him up in the second. Harrison and Pelton, or Harrison and Sherman, that is. Sherman trying to get in line, and here comes Mark Lucas. Haven't had to call his name very much. Oh, we got a spin on the back stretch. I believe that is Kevin Sherman. To go. Osmond and Harrison this time. James Osmond back in charge, brings Mark Lucas with him this second. Lucas coming to life late in the race. Noah Haggett coming to life late in the race. He's been involved in several cautions. Harrison is stuck on the outside, in danger of losing some spots. Gets sideways onto the front stretch. Oh, 
Back at it again. Green flag is out once again. This one looks pretty even. Osmond not able to shake off the challenge and Lucas strong on the outside. And look who's back in the picture. Kevin Sherman in the 11. Just a few laps ago, he started tail end of the field and he's back up into fourth. Bubba Pelton from 17th to second in the number 27. Position switching lap by lap here in the late going of this one. Still 13 cars on the lead lap late in this race. Bubba Pelton stalking the race leader. James Osmond. James picked up the lead just after halfway. Kevin Sherman trying to get his first podium in nine years in that number 11. Remember, if James Osmond wins this race, he'll get the trophy in the barbecue, but one other driver is going to get $1,500 extra dollars. Laps are winding down inside the final 20. 82 complete when they cross the line. Bubba Pelton taking a look on the high side now out of turn two. Inches up a little bit on the outside. Gets the fender alongside the leader. Even up onto the back stretch. Bubba Pelton outside. James Osmond on the low side. Once again, Kevin Sherman in the picture. Pelton slips up a little bit, falls back in danger of losing second to Kevin Sherman. Sherman will retake second. All of a sudden, Bubba Pelton not liking that outside lane. Pelton will drop back into fourth. Spin over there in turn number three and four. Looks like the 85 of Kenny Harrison and the 03 of Morris Young. Oh, Bubba Pelton is broken. Yeah, something broken on the 27 of Bubba Pelton, some front end suspension. That's what that squealing noise was. Darren Ripley starting to come back into the picture in the 09. Noah Haggett, we've called his name a lot tonight. Maddie Beers uh, brings the 11 car into the third spot. Sherman shuffled back into fourth. Two car breakaway a little bit. Osmond in the 
05 and Lucas in the 72. This time by will be 10 laps to go. 90 laps down, 10 laps to go this time by. Will it come down to Osmond and Lucas? Beers in a good spot in third. Close racing for fourth. Has Kevin Sherman in the 11. Noah Haggett in the 54. They're racing it out for fourth and fifth. Darren Ripley on the outside looking in. He nearly got into the backstretch wall that time by. Five laps to go this time by. Can James Osmond finish this thing off? He fabricates his own cars, but several other cars in this division Closest battle still for fourth and fifth between Sherman and Haggett. This next time by the stripe, two laps to go for James Osmond, Mark Lucas, and Matty Beers. White Laundry ready to fly this time by. Final time down through turn three and four. Checkered flag is ready to fly. James Osman wins the award and Suns 100. We'll find out what happened on the 05. Uh, I lost power steering on lap 40, and we kept coming in under caution, refilling it, but it just kept leaking out. Tough break, Brett. You, uh, you led halfway. You got a heat race win. Uh, that's 500 right there. Your dad won 1,500 for the win. He got a heat race. That's 1,600. So like Ken said, it is over $2,000 somewhere. It's not too late. You guys sure you want to give that money away? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's too late. <laughs> But they get the barbecue. That's what they're all arguing about today. Let's head trackside with your winner, James Osmond, everybody. Your Ward and Sons Construction Super Street 100 winner. James, what a show. And uh, I mean, right, right off the bat, you and your son getting to start on the front row, this must have been an epic night for you guys. It might have been if I could have held up with him a little longer, but... We had that, what, caution two, three laps in, he had me, and I, I'm not as good on the outside as him, so that was, uh, that was a lot of work. Mark Lucas, best in the business. You don't like Mark Lucas the way he drives, and you don't like racing, because that dude is like, had me on my toes. <laughs> Same with Matt, Bubba, Kenny Harris, and all these guys have been doing this forever, and, and to hold them off, and I know track position was everything, but pretty good. Um, on a more serious note, it's the first time I've been up here all year. Um, I lost my mother in March. And she always used to sit over there and turn four. And I really thought since she passed that was my good luck charm was gone because I haven't, like I said, I haven't even been up here. And 
This one's for her, and I hope she's watching. So. All right, James, we'll come back to him in a minute. Mark Lucas, James Osmond says you're one of the best in the business. Well, so is he. I'm just glad to be home. Uh, we've been racing Oxford for a few weeks now, and I'm just glad to be home. <laughs> We're glad that you call Wiscasset Speedway home. I, I do. I got to thank Goldenrod Garage, uh, Chandler Motorsports, Rob and Julie put me in this car, and they got all the faith in the world in me. I got to thank Ken and Roxy Farley and my family for putting up with all this. Uh, Ken works his butt off on this car and keeps us going when I don't have time, and it wouldn't be here without him. Ripley and Fletcher is the big part. All right, Mark Lucas, everybody. Back, uh, glad to see him back at Wiscasset Speedway with runner-up honors in the big show. And Matty Beers, this thing, this thing. This car doesn't look too far different than the Pro Stock tonight. It's beat up. I'd say the Pro Stock looks a little worse, but uh, man, what a night. I, uh, we, we started off the, the 100 lapper here and lap one that I don't know what happened. I lost power steering, and I rolled the whole race with no power steering. The thing was locked right up. I had all I could do to, to drive it. I got into a few people bouncing around because it's just you're, you're at your own will, you know, and to end up where we did, I, it's a win in my book. I mean, it, we, uh, this, this car two weeks ago was a rolling chassis sitting outside and no testing or anything. We brought it down today, and it seems to still go pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does. Maddie, anybody you want to thank on the 11 ride getting you here? Oh man, everybody. Uh, my crew, Gary, Evan, uh, Pete, Monk, uh, Rustic Retreat, Charlie's, Chapman Auto, McCain Electric. Uh, I'm probably forgetting somebody. Steam Salon, uh, DMD for giving me all the parts I needed to get it going. Uh, man, I'm spent. <laughs> all right, Maddie Beers, everybody. A little bit of redemption after that unfortunate pro stock race. All right, what are you guys all sticking around here for? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We got some money to give away. Everybody's anxious to find this one out. We got all the numbers in this bucket, except for Brett and James Osmond. So everybody else's numbers, even Matty Beers, even Lucas's numbers in there. So here he goes. Who's going home with the Osmond boys jackpot money? It's gonna be a good one. 19. Andy Cahurl. Andy Cahurl, if you're listening in the, in the pits, you got a couple grand coming your way, my man. Woo. Awesome job. All right, but Osmond boys, they got the barbecue from Mingo. That's what they wanted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. From Coastal Auto Parts, Napa Victory Lane, Ken Miner, why don't you take us home? All right, thank you once again, uh, Nick Hoff, and congrats. Big thank you to Ward and Son Construction, not only for sponsoring our kids club, but sponsoring this night and this event tonight. We appreciate you guys and all you do for Wiscasset Speedway. Be sure to look on the website, wiscassetspeedway.com, for the official finish race report, and we'll have the list of all the contingency money sponsors and winners. And uh, congrats to Andy Cahurl. Uh, gonna go home with an extra couple grand, uh, maybe a little bit more. We'll give you the grand total as soon as we find out what it is. And uh, that kid has certainly had his share of tough luck this year, so that'll be a good uh, a good bonus for him. Want to thank you guys all for joining us here tonight. A busy night at Wiscasset Speedway. We do it all again next Saturday night. Hope you can make it here for Summerfest tomorrow. We'll be uh, we'll be here over on the pit side, so please join us. One final time on behalf of Richard and Vanessa Jordan and the entire staff here at Wiscasset Speedway, thank you for coming. Have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you next time.